Okay, welcome back to the part two of building um, plugins for After Effects. Um, so in the last part, we successfully built the uh, the project, and uh, as you can see, if I go to the uh, the folder, I have all the necessary files but if you go into debug there is you don't see the you don't see the uh, plugin itself so what we are gonna do is I wrote down these steps for myself uh, to kind of help me later on so the first thing you want to do is go into project right click on it configuration debugging and set set the command to where your after effects is and I point it to that direction so why don't we do this first so I'm gonna come here right click properties configuration properties general and what did we have properties debugging that's what it was go into debugging and the command so what command we want to execute that's what we want to do so well you we wanna start After Effects so you will come here edit and take this out and I'm just gonna take all of this without this and stick that in here since mine is D I'm gonna say it's D so that's step one and then the second step is where would the output file go would be basically your um, the the plugin which is dot AEX uh, the extension so what I'm gonna do is just copy this line and that will be linker general so we'll go into linker general and here's the output uh, directory okay now by default it's going to be set to this uh, environment variable I have not set it so I don't know where that goes but you can do that you can go into you know uh, set this environment variable I'm sure you know how to do this in Windows if you're not you can just google it how to set an environment variable and then it's going to go into that that place what I'm gonna do just come in here be lazy and do this so this is gonna go into this location we'll see this later uh, that should be it you just say apply okay and that's control shift B as in banana so it's successfully built uh, and if I come in here to uh, my After Effects folder, kind of go into support files, go into plugins, there you have it. There is your cheese. So um, now we have successfully built the um, plugin. And now what we're going to do is kind of fire this in debug mode, as you can see up here and what I would like to do is kinda this is the first function that gets executed when you launch your plugin that's your entry point and the name kinda gives it away entry point um, so let's I'm gonna press F5 or you can press the play button whichever you prefer is out of date you wanna build yeah whatever, why not you can do that gonna do whatever it has to do and it's gonna say keep information for router files can I be found open the PDB file do you want to continue debugging yes since we didn't build the after effects with um, I guess ourselves can't find the PDB file and as you can see uh, the breakpoint has hit this point and I'm just gonna let it run set a five let it continue and there you have it 
there is your After Effects. Now you don't see the um, the plugin, so well because this is not active yet. So what I'm going to do is try to try to load in a video quickly. Come in here. You need to set a breakpoint for this plugin to work, and I'm going to set this. This keyframe, then I'm gonna come here, and there you have it. Easy cheese. Your plugin is set. So there you go. You just saw it. How to um, debug your plugin. Now a couple of things. Um, I mean, if you wanna know what a function does, all you can do is just copy it. Come into this guide. Control F find and there you go it tells you basically what this function it's all basically just API call that's all you're doing so what it does is obtain a unique command identifier and basically or you you just handling a register one thing I must say is you must be very good at um, C uh, and pointers and C++ because that's what it is so if you're not if you're not good at it, just go brush up on it. Uh, learn learn pointers and arrays and strings, and then come back to it because it's gonna make a lot of sense. Otherwise, you'll be just scratching your head because it's all structures and pointers and blah. Uh, so as you can see, it comes in here. You get a handle to your to your uh, command. Uh, then you insert your uh, your command uh, into the menu and you're saying is okay this is my handle the name is gonna be easy cheese and it's gonna go inside the keyframe assist which is if we saw key ka so the keyframe assist ka uh, and you want to have it sorted so you want to register the command hook basically what it is is every time the command gets executed it's going to call a function the name of the function is command hook and to prove my point I'm going to come to command hook and shoot a breakpoint I want to do it here and then I'm going to come here to after effects and I'm going to say animation keyframe assistant easy cheese and boo look at that so then you can you know kind of step through and uh, see what what it's doing actually it's really nice here we go it took me very little time to build my own plugin I'm gonna make a video on that and see it's just it's doing whatever it has to do you can uh, stop debugging from here. I'm gonna go back and say I will say eat the cheese. All right, and we'll start this again. I'll say yes. I don't care. Let it build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, it's loaded. It's not gonna show here, but that's okay. We'll come here, the same. Yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, come in, who got it got um, fired or breakpoint. Um, and we'll say, uh, come in here, and there you go, eat the cheese. And if I click, it hits the break one. There you go. You get the idea of how to um, how to do this. By the way, this is a video I made on how to clean a graphics card. Um, if you want to watch it, sure. If I get enough requests, then I'm gonna go and then kind of show how to code one a plugin. For now, just um, you know, you now have an idea of how to debug your plugin and how to get started. And for more for more information, 
you can always come in here and uh, read this the this doc uh, by the way one thing this plugin property list uh, it shows where where your um, I'll show you as you can see it shows you know um, what's your entry point so there this is your entry point function and, and kind of have some if devs if it's window you do this if it's Mac you do that 32 bit 64 bit blah 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 and then it defines um, an array of properties I guess the kind so it is an, a general plugin the name kind of category does it go into your version all right so I guess that should have been very helpful please comment and let me know thanks